So I was president of, president of the Senate in Haiti in 1994 when Bill Clinton invaded the island. And I have the records about the Clinton Foundation. And I want to have a few minutes today to talk about that. Uh, Mr. First of all, to understand where I come from, I am from both cultures. I am from the American culture because I came here at a very early age. And while you went to New York Military Academy, I went to New Jersey, the Military Academy in New Jersey. About the same time, we are about the same age. You could have been my underclassman. <laughs> so really, it's you understand me and I will understand you. Okay? So, but my dream was to go back to Haiti, to do for Haiti what I had seen in the United States. Free enterprise system, the justice system you have here, and fight corruption in Haiti. And in 1991, I was elected senator of Haiti. The same year, Jean-Bertrand Aristide was elected president. In February of 1994, I became president of the Senate. And I had to deal with the Clinton invasion of Haiti. And I learned so much about the Clinton because I was working so much with the American intelligence at that time. Clinton wanted to buy me out. And I remember that I was hitting very hard on several fronts. Today Show, Good Morning America, and once I was in nightline with Senator Dole. And uh, to try to appease me, he, re he sent me Bill Richardson, who was actually congressman at that time. And I spent four hours with Bill Richardson in my office in Port au Prince explaining to him how they should not invade Haiti and how this was a bad idea to return Aristide to power. And I even mentioned that President Reagan in 1986 had sent one airplane to pick up Duvalier. I said, that's the way to do it. You want to get rid of those generals? Send an airplane. I will help them into that airplane. So we spent four hours. I discussed it with Bill Richardson because I said to Bill, take the message back to President Clinton. I know you are here because he sent you. A week later, after my conversation with Bill Richardson, the American embassy called me as it was often the case. And they said, President Clinton has a messenger for you. I said, send him over. He came, did not give me his name, but told me, Mr. Sensory, you join our movement. You side with Bill Clinton in this invasion and will make you the richest man in Haiti. I said, sir, tell President Clinton for me, Bernard Sensory is not for sale. I have principle and I love my country. A week later, by executive order, Clinton revoked my visa. I was then a resident of the United States. I am now a citizen of the United States. <laughs> and this is how it's been in Haiti. The Clinton went there. After the invasion, they started a cellular company called Fusion International. To make a long story short, now it's Dizzy Cell who is taking over and his friend Dennis O'Brien has, has given millions to the Clinton Foundation. In 2010, the earthquake of Haiti, not only American taxpayers, but the whole world has given billions of dollars to the Clinton Foundation for the Haitians. Not only not even 2% of that money went back to Haiti. So Mr. Trump, we are asking you, begging you, the Haitian community will side with you if one day you ask Hillary Clinton publicly to disclose the audit of all the money they have stolen from Haiti in 2010 after the earthquake. <laughs> Haiti is a very poor country. Haiti needs defenders. You said you will champion our cause. We welcome you, sir. 
and we, we will work with you. But please, ask publicly Hillary Clinton during your next debate to publish the audit of all the money they have stolen from Haiti. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Incredible. That's a terrible experience you've had. They had other, I have other experience, sir. Uh, like George Sadi said, you know, I have proof because I have worked with American intelligence about the drugs coming from Haiti to the United States and how the money went back to Haiti, you know, in cornflakes boxes. It's unbelievable. And that money was used to pay lobbyists in Washington, D.C. during the Clinton administration and the money found its way all the way to the White House. Sir, sir please, the Haitian people is counting on you. Really amazing. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.